our last video on the fundamental theorem of calculus said that it, whenever we have expressions that are like this, we have a way to evaluate them using antiderivatives. Uh, that's what necessitates learning and, and tied derivatives. So we can actually evaluate things that look like this. Just one little step in between though. This is usually informally written as big F of X uh, from A to B. So when I do this, I go here. Once I find the antiderivative, I write it here with this bar notation just to keep everything straight. And then I evaluate it at the endpoints and just subtract. But this is great because uh, it enables us to figure out problems like this. I might say, what is the area of, of this region? It's actually a two-part process. Um, one part would be come up with a definite integral whose value is the area. That's the easy part. You would just say the integral from uh, 0 to 1 of x squared dx. And now how do you find what the area actually is? Well, you use the fundamental theorem of calculus. We know how to anti-differentiate x squared. That's just 1 third x cubed. Using the bar notation, I will write 0 to 1, which means 1 third 1 cubed minus 1 third 0 cubed which simply equals one-third. And, it, and it's just that easy. The area is one-third. Next up here, we can test out the theorem with an integral whose value we obviously know. If you integrate the sine curve from zero to uh, two pi, you should get zero for, because the, the contributions will cancel. Example of the fundamental theorem. This equals minus cosine x, all right, from zero to two pi. All you got to do is evaluate it. So this equals minus cosine of 2 pi minus minus cosine of 0. Uh, the cosine of 2 pi is um, 1, so you have minus 1. Minus uh, cosine of 0 is likewise minus 1, which does indeed equal 0. Uh, last example here, uh, it also applies to solids of revolution. Uh, find the volume of the, of the solid resulting when this region is revolved about the x-axis. Well, you use your, your formula for the volume of the solid, and it's, uh, it's going to be pi times the integral from uh, 0 to, let's say, 1. This would be 1, 1. 0 to 1 of the function squared. So that's x to the fourth dx. No big deal. We just anti-differentiate it. This is going to be uh, pi over 5 times x to the fifth. Uh, from 0 to 1. When you plug in 1, you'll get pi over 5. When you plug in 0 and subtract it, you get 0. So the volume of the solid is just pi over 5. You could uh, in effectively interpret this, this whole setup here, as the area underneath the function pi times x to the fourth. Since all these can be in interpreted as areas, they can all be evaluated the same way.